teach you how to do donuts. 2017, uh, or 22 Kawasaki Mule and um, he wanted to learn how to do donies in it. Our mule's getting pretty old. We gotta put the gas a little bit. But I am going to go to the comments the YouTube studio just a second here. Come on. Uh, uh, not content, comments. This is his comment. Um, can you make a tutorial how to do donuts, Kawasaki Mule? Um, th there it is. Um, it, just to let you know, being filmed March 14th. It, I don't know if it'll be posted today, um, but this is what I do. Um, I've tried, I've tried every single way. I put it even in four-wheel drive before. It didn't really work well. Um, it might not be best for your diff, but I put the differential lock, I put it in high mode, and whenever I do that, it'll make sure I can do donies really well. But that's only in snow. I've never done it on either grass or pavement, so I don't really know, but if you have, it's gonna stall. Ah, oh, poor girl. I had to, I had to jump it this morning. <laughs> I think we need a new battery. You know, we just put a new battery in a year ago. We stuck. Yeah, that's one thing to never do is to never stop moving. It's gonna be hard to do it one-handed, but. Did I, did I take it out of diff? No. Oh, guess I have to take this way now. <laughs> oh, take it around the corner. yourself and go and say yeah I watched a Wade Farms video on how to do this um you gotta make sure that uh <laughs> if there's people coming to my door I would delete this video right away um okay I I I am not responsible for any injuries that happen if you are trying to do donies and either flip it or wreck your machine um speaking of which a little bad for it to do in the diff lock just to let you guys know um but it took me a little while to get used to how to use the gas it was more between i didn't really use the brake too much but like you know how it kind of slid into the trees over there yeah i touched the brake a little bit but i still kept on going um it just depends on 
how it's really the gas. I didn't floor it, but I also didn't barely touch it. It was about halfway on the gas, just to let you know. I don't know. I have the carbureted model. Um, I don't know if you have the fuel injected model and I don't know I, I'm assuming they're all fuel injected now um but for your sake um I would just test it out go very nice and slow just wait until you get the real handle of it um but yeah other than that that's, that's probably it um I gotta let the chickens out this has only been a six minute video so yeah we have about I'll just let you guys know we have about a two, three inches of snow, I'm stuck. Just lock it for, there we go, she clunked in. <laughs> um, usually I, I don't, I would say don't do it on ice. I wouldn't do it on ice, but um, I would say if you wanted to, I'd do it with a quarter of an inch, half an inch of snow. You're gonna hit ground, but I mean, still really does it, you know, really doesn't matter. <laughs> Um, my tripod is off by a lot, but morning girls. Good morning. Are you all outside? Ready to get going? Got a couple eggs here and there. Okay. Sure. Yeah, I'll let them out this way. Oh, there's our rooster. There's our big fat rooster. Here's Sarah. I love you, Sarah. Um, I got a question for you on auction rebuilds. How do you film such good quality with your GoPros? And I know you have a higher thing GoPro, but I remember like when the GoPro 7 just came out, I remember I watched one of your videos, it's like, oh yeah, I got the brand new GoPro 7 and your videos still look a lot better than mine. <laughs> well, the GoPro 7 could come with 4K and I have the white, which is the only one that didn't come with 4K. So that's probably why he spent I was wondering, I was like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spend 80 more bucks. I'm just gonna get this one. Now the other one was probably 4K. I, I probably should have just went with that one. But, um, yeah, chickens are enjoying their life. They're doing good. Um, some stuff, very important stuff. This is out March 14th, Monday. There, in in a week, there's a really good video coming. I'd stay tuned. It involves the chickens too. Um. Rusty, are you all wet? You're dry wet. Oh, Mrs. Gray. Oh, baby girl. Oh, why is there blood on that? Oh, God. Okay. Um, there you go. There you go. I know this doesn't involve the tutorial, but the tutorial's first. So I'm just adding this in to make the video a little longer. Now, we'll close this up. Close this up. Uh, yeah. I haven't unplugged the heat lamp in a couple days, so let me just give this thing a break. Plug it back in tonight. They don't really need it. I'll just close this up. Oh, okay, I can't get that. Cords in the way. What are you doing over there, Rooster? What you doing, Rooster? What you doing? What you doing, bud? What you doing, huh? What's going on? Huh? What's going on? Huh? Huh? Oh, what's going on, bud? What's going on? Yeah, I don't know. Well, I guess that's the chickens. I don't know if I don't know if you cared about the chickens or not, but hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you guys like, subscribe, and the bell for post notifications. Um. If you go either to the home or the video section on my YouTube channel, you scroll down, all four of my YouTube channels, um, you can subscribe to them if you want. You could subscribe to Wade Farms if you want. Um, not really, I, I don't, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, if you do like my videos, make sure you subscribe and you can hit the bell so you don't miss any. Make sure you like the video, um, recommend the video to other people. Um, and I'm sure since it's about the Kawasaki Mule, It'll get a lot of views. But anyways, see you guys next time. Whoa. See you guys next time on Wade Farms.